name is Ronald Cortez Heard the second, but I go by R2C2H2, the Artemis. And the title of my work is the uh, New Testament, the Crucifixion and Resurrection of Homer G. Phillips. It is a tribute to Homer G. Phillips, who was a lawyer in the city, who actually forced the city to allocate funds to build City Hospital Number 2, which will be a hospital for African Americans exclusively. Uh, unfortunately, he was assassinated by the powers that be back in 1931, but the hospital was built nonetheless and it was named in his honor. And I think it's important to remember this man because a lot of times when you mention Homer G. Phillips, people talk about the building, not the man who laid the foundation for the institution. Uh, he really sacrificed himself for the greater good. And I think that's another narrative to the Homer G. Phillips Hospital story that's not told. It played a pivotal part in the civil rights movement history. Uh, you see, um, Henry Hampton Sr. was the chief surgeon and director of Homer G. Phillips for a while. His son was Henry Hampton Jr., who was Wash U class of 1960, who was the uh, visionary behind the Eyes on the Prize documentary series, uh, which talked about the civil, uh, civil rights movement history uh, of this country. Very innovative. And also, Homer G. Phillips uh, trained Dr. T.I.M. Howard, who was at one point the wealthiest black man in the state of Mississippi. But also, he did a lot for civil rights. He trained the Evers brothers, uh, Mega Evers and his brother. Charles, Fannie Lou Hamer, uh, he made sure that Mammy Till, who was the mother of Emmett Till, had a secure place to stay when she went down to the murder trial for her son back in 1955. And um, he actually actually built the first swimming pool for black folks in the state of Mississippi. So that's another history to that narrative. And that hospital trained more uh, black doctors and nurses at one point than any place in the world. So that's why I did the piece.